It has been quite a long time since the last time we worked on my 2017 Volkswagen Golf R. And the reason I haven't been able to work on the car is because of this piece right here that was back ordered from Volkswagen for over a month and a half. But it's finally arrived. Now, I know it's been a few months since I made my last video on my Golf R rebuild, and I'm sorry it took so long. These are just things that are out of my control and also seem to be pretty common in the automotive industry. So consider that if you ever want to do this thing yourself. Anyways, to catch you guys up to speed, in the last episode, I had to remove the old bumper and transfer the parking sensor harness to the new bumper because a new one didn't come with any. This process involved drilling holes into the new bumper and then plastic welding the old brackets to it. Once that was done, I then decided it was time to replace the old destroyed hatchback with the new one that I had bought third hand. I had to disassemble the new one in order to remove the cut wires and then I had to do the same thing to the one that was on the car. Once everything was unplugged, I was able to swap the new hatch onto the car and plug everything back in. I even had to have my girlfriend help me because this thing was freaking heavy. And with the final trim pieces screwed onto the hatch, the rear end of the car was officially done. Well, sort of. And that's a wrap. Now I scoured the internet far and wide, even reaching out to other dealerships in other countries, trying to see if they had this piece but it was to no avail. Now I know this piece looks huge and it actually is pretty freaking long. It's almost the size of me, but funny enough, I only need about mm, this much of it, literally maybe six or seven inches. Now I know this piece looks huge and that's because it is, it's practically the size of me, but I literally only need about that much, maybe this much of it from this hole all the way up, which is, Pretty small, but of course they don't sell it like that. You gotta buy the whole freaking thing. Now, the goal of rebuilding this car was to challenge myself, somebody with zero experience working on cars, and see how well I can do, and basically to see if I'm capable or if anyone is capable of doing work on your own car. And we've gotten maybe about 85% of the way done with this car, but unfortunately the next 10% that's needed on this car, I don't think I'm gonna have the skills or and even the equipment to do myself. And that's okay. Asking for help from other people is okay. Now the remaining work that needs to get done to this car, which is cutting this off right here and doing a bit of pulling is just impossible to do in my garage. And that's why we're gonna be outsourcing the work and I'm gonna show you how we do framework. Now I was a bit saddened to find out that I couldn't fully rebuild the car by myself and that 10% of it is just not possible to complete in a garage in Florida, but that doesn't mean we're SOL. There is a way to still build it, and I'm gonna have to take you guys on a journey. Now, just because the work can't be done in this garage, doesn't mean it can't be done in every garage, if you get what I'm saying. So what we need to do now is prep this car for a road trip across the country. And by starting off, we're gonna have to load all the parts into this car that's needed to complete this build.
With everything loaded up, it was time to get the car onto the trailer, strap it down tight, and begin our 10-hour drive from Fort Myers, Florida, all the way to Chattanooga, Tennessee. giving you a quick update. We got about maybe four and a half hours left in our trip. You can see I got the car strapped down all four corners on a tilt trailer. This is a 10 hour drive, so it's been pretty crazy. I've driven majority of the way. My friend Sean's gonna finish the rest who you've seen in another video here. But as you guys can see, I just wanna give you a quick walk around of what we're dealing with, what I got, and kind of the setup of strapping this car down. We've been stopping maybe every hour and a half to make sure that everything is strapped in so that we don't have any problems. But so far, so good. Let me show you. So we got a Chevy Silverado 2500 towing the Golf, which really looks pretty good on that, I'd say so. We got a tilt trailer, 10,000 pound, and we got straps on each at 10 and two, the proper way, 10 and two, and they are tight, not going anywhere. Got those on Amazon, very useful. And we have them on each of the four corners. Bumper is on there pretty well. Got some zip ties, uh, but we're doing okay. Holding everything on, but yeah, just kind of giving you the little tour before we hit the road again. I wanted to make a quick update video as we're at a rest stop here, but not too shabby. Everything's good. Yeah, we got some room. We can go down in case we start moving but so that's going to be it for the quick update of the golf r on the uh on the truck and trailer here and i'll update you where we get to our final destination it's going to be crazy so stay tuned <laughs> 